Welcome to All Around Us. Today's journey takes us to the Middle East, exploring the origins and development of Hamas. Born amidst the First Intifada in 1987, Hamas emerged as a branch of the Muslim Brotherhood, a group rooted in the socio-political environment of the Palestinian territories. Their formation was a response to perceived failures of secular Palestinian nationalism, and they sought to champion the Palestinian cause through a distinctively Islamic lens. Over the years, Hamas has evolved, navigating the tumultuous landscape of Middle Eastern politics, managing internal divisions, and adapting to the changing dynamics of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. From its humble beginnings as a local resistance movement, Hamas has grown into a significant political and military force within the Palestinian territories. This foundation has shaped the organization's goals, ideology, and activities, as we will see next. Hamas has always been driven by distinct goals and a strong ideology. Born from the crucible of conflict, it's built on a bedrock of two key tenets, the Palestinian cause and Islamic principles. The organization's commitment to these principles is unwavering and forms the backbone of its ideology. At the heart of Hamas's goals is the resolution of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The organization advocates for the establishment of a Palestinian state, a vision rooted in its commitment to the rights and welfare of the Palestinian people. This underpins its stances on many key issues, including territorial disputes and negotiations. Yet, Hamas doesn't shy away from its Islamic principles. Its vision is one where these principles guide governance, informing its approach to social, political, and economic matters. This commitment to faith and nation shapes its strategic decisions, its alliances, and its resistance. These convictions shape not only Hamas's actions but also its structure. Hamas is not a monolithic entity, but consists of various wings with specific roles. This organization, often in global headlines, operates through a system of interconnected divisions that each play a part in achieving its overall goals. At the heart of Hamas lies its political wing, which is responsible for policymaking and diplomatic relations. This wing, headed by a political bureau, navigates the challenging waters of international politics, attempting to advance the organization's objectives. Complementing the political wing, the military wing, known as the Is al-Din al-Qassam Brigades, carries out the group's military activities. It functions independently, but under the general supervision of the political bureau. Leadership within Hamas is a blend of collective decision-making and individual authority. Key figures, such as the head of the political bureau, command significant influence, but decisions are generally made through consensus within the Shura Council, a body consisting of representatives from various wings. This structure supports the operations of Hamas, which are financed through various sources. The operations of Hamas are funded through diverse channels, eliciting a range of international responses. On one hand, some of the financing comes from grassroots donations within Palestine, reflecting the organization's deep roots in the local community. On the other hand, Hamas also receives substantial financial support from international donors. These donors are often individuals, non-governmental organizations, and countries sympathetic to the Palestinian cause, including notable states such as Iran and Qatar. The international community, however, has varying reactions. Some nations condemn the funding, citing concerns about potential misuse for military activities and alleged human rights abuses. Others argue that the financial support is a lifeline for Palestinians, as it allows Hamas to provide much-needed social services in the territories it controls. These intricate dynamics of funding, coupled with the divergent international responses, make the financial aspect of Hamas a contentious and multifaceted issue. This funding enables Hamas to provide social services and govern in areas like the Gaza Strip. Beyond its political and military activities, Hamas also plays a significant role in social services and governance. Operating primarily in the Gaza Strip, Hamas provides a wide range of social services, from healthcare and education to welfare programs for the poor. This social welfare network has been instrumental in building grassroots support for the organization among the Palestinian population. In terms of governance, Hamas has been the de facto governing authority in the Gaza Strip since 2007, managing everything from security and law enforcement to infrastructure and public services. However, this dual role as a political and military entity has been a source of controversy and tension. Hamas also maintains relationships with other Palestinian factions, regional actors, and international organizations. These relationships are complex and multifaceted, 
reflecting the organization's role in the broader geopolitical landscape. Despite these activities, Hamas faces criticisms and controversies, which we will explore next. Like any organization, Hamas has been the subject of numerous criticisms and controversies. The most prevalent of these are accusations of terrorism and human rights violations. Critics argue that the group's military wing has been involved in acts of violence against civilians including suicide bombings and rocket attacks. Additionally, there are concerns about their treatment of political opponents and dissenters within the territories they govern. On the other hand, there are those who view these actions within the context of a struggle for national liberation. Some argue that the group's military actions are a response to Israeli occupation and aggression. It's also worth noting that Hamas has its share of supporters who view it as a legitimate resistance movement. These complexities underline the importance of understanding Hamas in its entirety. Each perspective offers a piece of a larger puzzle that needs to be considered in any discussion about the organization and its role in the Middle East.